Big changes in the state when it comes to gambling and felons' rights to vote as three of the biggest statewide amendments pass with flying colors. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane is live this morning at the Tampa Greyhound Dog Racing Track with the changes that we can all expect to see. Good morning, Wendy. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, Tampa Greyhound Track is one of 11 dog racing tracks in the state that will end dog racing starting in the year 2021. Nearly 70% of voters decide to end dog racing in the state. Yeah, the there are nearly 8,000 racing dogs in the state and people against dog racing say it's cruel with an average of two dog deaths a week due to illness or injury. People in support of dog racing say the dogs are treated well and enjoy racing and say the industry supports 3,000 jobs. So again, the passing of Amendment 13 will ban racing starting in the year 2021. Now, Amendment 3 passing with nearly 70% makes it so casino gambling in the state can now only be approved by voters instead of politicians, with the exception of Indian reservations. And as for Amendment 4 passing with 65%, it makes it so Florida felons who have finished their sentences will be able to vote again with the exception of those convicted of sex crimes or murder. Now, this change will affect 1.5 million people and will coincide with nearly every other state that already allows this. Now, the only statewide amendment that did not pass was amendment number one. That was to lower home property taxes, and that would have ended up costing local governments millions of dollars. Live in Tampa this morning, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.